When I think of what most of us know as a pan flute, it reminds me of a particular scene from a movie, a film from the 1970s called A Geary Wrath of God. It can be a very evocative sound and it's perhaps used a bit too much over the years in various soundtracks and TV ads. I think it can be a really nice sound when it's recreated in analog and in modular so that every element of the sound can be precisely customized. This sound is quite simple in principle, but it needs some experimentation since fine adjustments can make a significant difference to the sound. It consists of one VCO and some white noise. The VCO is a square wave, but it's important to get the position of the pulse width in just the right place. Because if I change the pulse width, the timbre of the sound will be completely wrong. It needs to be about here, at the most hollow sounding point. But I also have some pulse width modulation coming from some red noise. The reason for that is the sound, as I perceive it, coming from a small piped instrument, it seems very resonant but quite distorted. And by feeding the pulse width modulation with noise, you get this effect. I think that makes it sound a bit more realistic. Also, I've got the mod output from this keyboard going to an LFO, and it's controlling the level of pitch modulation on the VCO. This isn't so much realistic, it's just something to add a bit more expression to the sound. So if I press the key down harder, that introduces some vibrato. The other element of the sound is the noise. This simulates the breathing attack portion of the sound. And the reason fixed filter bank is important is that if I listen to the direct output of the white noise going into the filter, it sounds wrong because noise contains such a range of frequencies. There's too much low frequency information there. So I use the fixed filter bank to sculpt out the low frequencies and boost some of the highs. It's worth experimenting with this because it can make a big difference to the tone. The envelope is very important because it's controlling the frequency of the, the Sonic XV filter, which is in bandpass mode. And it's also controlling the level of the wet versus the dry mix in the fixed filter bank. So it's controlling the frequency of this filter, but in this case it's controlling the level of audio that's being passed out of the output. I also have the output of this envelope affecting the resonance of the filter. This makes a very subtle difference, but it just gives a little bit more shape to the start of the sound. Also the pressure sensitivity from the, the keyboard via the LFO is modulating all of these elements. So it's affecting both pitch, filter frequency, the level of resonance and the output level of the fixed filter bank. Lastly, the final of the two envelopes just controls the VCA, so I have sustain on full with a very short decay setting. 